Let's find out what's in the July 2022 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, and welcome to the July 2022 Keto Crate unboxing. Don't forget, you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate, or you can stick around to the end of this video to find out how you can win your very own July 2022 Keto Crate. Can I just say that I got back from KetoCon earlier this month, and I was able to meet Emily and all the other amazing people at Keto Crate, and it was such a great time, and I love those people, and I love this company, right? I truly love the Keto Crate, and it's one of my favorite keto items. I don't know if that's what you wanna call it, but like, this is my absolute jam and just meeting them and having a great time with them made it all the more special. So I'm excited to unbox the Keto Crate and hopefully you can win you one of these. But if not, just click the link and get a discount because it's worth it. Enough talky, more snacky, let's go. Okay, thank you Green Chef. I think they are single-handedly keeping all the paper printing businesses open with like, we've gotten one of these for over a year, I'm gonna have to say. Okay, let's go. Oh, more literature. Okay, ooh, skinny mixes. Were these people at KetoCon? I don't remember, but these skinny mixes are totes the jam and I'm assuming that there's going to be some skinny mixes in the Keto Crate. I was right. Zero calorie Baja Margarita. Ooh, six single serve packets. There are two grams of carbs and one gram of erythritol. So that's one total carb per packet. The ingredients, citric acid, erythritol, natural flavors, etc. So the carb comes from the citric acid. Now, how do you use this? Like, I'm not a big drinker, so I don't even know how to make a margarita. Just add skinnies to tequila and club soda. I love that. Like, how do you make this? They tell you on the box. Come on, there it is. I think that's absolutely brilliant. I'll have to try this. I don't have any tequila, but you know, I'm going on some vacations coming up. Maybe I'll just bring a couple of these with me. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Skinny's cocktail mixers. Next. Oh my gosh, you guys, have you seen these? Have you seen these Whittle Baby single serve packs of Catalina Crunch? I don't know where I saw these. Maybe like a health food store, maybe Walmart. I don't remember, but I was like, they done got Catalina Crunch and single serve packets. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And they were like $1.79, like something where still a regular like General Mills cereal is gonna cost like 69 cents for this amount. But like, I'll tell you this, that $1.79 price tag is a lot more welcoming than like the $8 price tag of a regular size bag. Plus they had all the flavors. So once again, you can sample before you buy the whole thing. Now I normally love Catalina Crunch. I actually like it dry better than in milk, but I do love Catalina Crunch. I will say it's one of those cereals you can't overeat. Like, no, 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 you can. You can consume an entire big bag, but your stomach's gonna know what you did, right? So this is something that you have to be careful to moderate. Catalina Crunch Fruity, I don't know if I've ever had this flavor, so I'm excited to try it. Keto friendly cereal. So serving size is one package, duh, because it's a little baby. And then we have 110 calories, five grams of fat, 14 total carbs, nine fiber, and 11 grams of protein. Is it really five net carbs? I mean, I don't think there's any other sugars in here, so five net carbs, okay. Ingredients, Catalina flour. That's pea protein, potato fiber, non-GMO corn fiber, chicory root fiber, guar gum, tapioca flour, there's organic hyolic, sunflower oil. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this. Like these ingredients, once again, make your own choices about what you fit into your diet. But I, I do like Catalina Crunch as a cereal alternative, but I don't really eat cereal a lot on my keto diet. I mean, I'm glad they're in the keto crate though. I'm gonna try them. 
Next. Oh. Okay, Catalina Crunch. Okay, Catalina Crunch with a double feature. Um, this is traditional crunch snack mix. Now I see pretzels in here and I'm just wondering how sway, but you know, we'll get to it. There are six servings per container. I mean, okay. Um, 140 calories per serving, 10 grams of fat, nine carb, four fiber. So that is five grams of net carbs per serving, which is consistent with their cereal and then five grams of protein. Okay, so it includes the Catalina Crunch cereal, which is the same ingredients as before, and then pecans, and then cashews, and then chickpea pretzels, which are chickpea flour, potato flour, cornstarch, rice flour. I mean, but like, I mean, it's okay. Like, I, I, it is what it is. Like, these are pretzels. No matter how you slice it, there's gonna have to be some sort of flour situation. But I mean, I'm here for it. I am here for like once again this is the sort of thing where it's like if you're never going back to sugar again if you would never ever dream of grabbing a chex mix and like but you want your snack mix sort of thing i'm glad that these are available readily available for purchase but at the same time like we need to keep snacks in their place you know what i'm talking about this is a snack to be enjoyed occasionally but i'm glad that it exists next Avan Avanola, 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 ancient superfood granola. Okay, okay, so it's, I'm sure it's like Avi, like Avi foods, Avi foods, and then granola. So like Avanola. I'm I'm gonna keep saying it differently every single time. Google Benedict Cumberbatch says penguin. Best thing you'll do all day, actually, besides like watching this video. But like, I'm just gonna keep switching the pronunciation of how I say that every single time. Okay, so this is magical keto granola. There are 12 carbs, nine fiber, two sugar alcohol. So that's one net carb. Once again, I really appreciate how it comes in this little single serve bag because look, if, if this granola would have come in this size bag, it would have been a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Nutritional information. So serving size, one pouch, 95 calories, seven grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, nine fiber, two sugar alcohol. So that's one gram of net carb and then five grams of protein. So the ingredients are lupini bean flakes, soluble tapioca fiber syrup, almonds like ugh, what are with these ingredients you guys but i mean it's better than the actual starch but once again just keep these things in the snack realm now granted i've never heard of avi foods avi foods um so once again i love that the keto crate has delivered me something that i would have not known about otherwise so like that's a win in my book does it have a flavor no just sweet almond coconut granola next Oh, fat snacks, fat snacks. Oh, we're uh, eating fat snacks. Uh, and these are their everything almond flour crackers. I don't know if I've had these before, but we've had the cheddar flavored crackers before and I absolutely love them. So I'm excited to try these. Even though I, can I tell you guys a secret? Like I'm not really a fan of everything flavored things. Like, you know, like everyone's like, oh, you gotta get the everything but the bagel flavored seasoning from Trader Joe's. And I'm like, but do you though? So like, Take it for what you will, but I love me some Fat Snacks crackers though, I'll tell you that. So there are two servings per container, and these crackers are, are pretty big enough to where I feel like you could, if you were being really good, you can get two servings out of this. Calories 130, 11 grams of fat, six grams of carbs, three fiber, so that's three net carbs per serving, worth it. And then five grams of protein. Ingredients, almond flour, egg white, butter, cream cheese. Yeah, see, this is a little bit more my speed, like flaxseed, like I'm here for this. So I'm excited to try these. Next we have, oh, crazy go nuts. Oh my gosh, I haven't had crazy go nuts in so long. Crazy go nuts, buffalo all natural gourmet walnuts. Once again, they they just cut a little bit off center with the, with the packaging, but I don't care. Um, these are buffalo, so like, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about, I do like spicy things, I do like nuts. Do I like spicy nuts? I don't know yet, but I love crazy go nuts, I will tell you that. Serving size, one container, 190 calories, 18 grams of fat, 
six total carb and two fiber. So that is four net carbs. That must be a lot of buffalo seasoning on there. And then four grams of protein. Next, I feel like we've seen a lot already and we're still going. Ah, shrewd food protein puffs, buffalo ranch flavored protein puffs. I am here for it. Once again, what, this is a very buffalo box. You know what I'm talking about? True food protein puffs. I am here for it. I don't think we've ever had this flavor. It might in fact be a new flavor, but I love true foods. Excited to try it. One bag, 90 calories, three grams of fat, three total carbs. Um, so that's three net carbs as well. And then 13 grams of protein. If snacks are a part of your keto journey, which don't get me wrong, for me, they are occasionally trust. As y'all see on Smash the Crate, oh, we eat these, right? I eat me some keto snacks. But these are just great alternatives to have if you're transitioning away from conventional food or if, you know, you just need something occasionally, but you don't want that to be an excuse to go off the rails or go back to the standard American or conventional diet, right? The fact that all of these snackies exist, I'm just so grateful for that. But like, keep your diet in mind, right? Keep your overall health in mind. You can eat a keto diet primarily made of snacks, but it's not going to be good for your health, right? So just... Think about that. Next we have, oh, fat bars. Now I love these people. They are from, they're from London. They're from England. Um, and this flavor is raspberry and almond. One bar is 134 calories, interesting. 10 grams of fat, 13 total carbs, and 11 of those are fiber. So this is sweetened with fiber. Where is the protein? Three and a half grams of protein. So this is definitely a fiber bar. Yeah, the number one ingredient is almonds. Oh, they give you like a percentage of how much is made up. So it's 55% almonds, and then it's chicory extract, and then almond oil, and then dried raspberries. Like, I mean, I'm into it. These little fat bars, they won't make you fat. Lord knows they're small enough, but still, I'm glad to see it. Finally, now bring me some Jimmy pudding. You guys know I love Jimmy pudding. I think we've had the fudge peanut butter pudding before, and I really just liked the chocolate better, but this was pretty good. Um, oh my gosh, it's like, if I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's, it's like, <laughs> it's like a lava lamp or something. <laughs> oh shoot, that is so interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'll shake it up to, to, you know, uncongeal it. That looks like Gak. Comment down below. Are you in my... No, it didn't come apart at all. Like, it is still all one piece. Comment if you know what Gak is. But, like, it's Jimmy Pudding, though. I love it. What are the ingredients of this? Fiber and fats blend. So, corn fiber and then peanut butter, coconut oil. I mean, yeah, like, this just looks very oily. Like, this looks like you could move it back and forth in your hand and it wouldn't stick. Like, it's it's covered in oil. It is oil. Regardless, are we going to try it? Yes, we are. Are we going to like it? Most likely. But like I said, I liked the fudge, just the regular one, better. But I love the consistency of these. They taste like icing. They're very decadent, very rich. Oh, and you're going to pay for it in total carbs, though. So serving size, one cup. 250 calories, 19 grams of fat, woo, 43 total carbs, wow, 18 grams of protein, 7 grams of sugar alcohol, I mean, there is some math happening in here, like, that's all I want you to know, uh, and then there are 4 grams of protein, like, woo, but, I mean, Jimmy Pudding will all, always hold a special place in my heart, but now, like, I'm never for I'm never gonna forget this. <laughs> like, okay, guys, but that is it in the keto crate. And then once again, they have the QR code on the bottom that you can scan and get all the this month's information. I'm sure read some inspirational stories. Like, I love the keto crate. This is a great one. There's a lot of savory things like snack mixes and protein puffs and crackers, but then there are tons of sweet things that I'm also very excited to try. I love the Keto Crate. And if you love the Keto Crate and you want to win your very own, you can comment down below and let me know what you would like to try out of this Keto Crate or what you have tried and what you like. And you will be entered to win a drawing for our Smash the Crate video where we're going to draw a winner and we try, myself and my husband and my mother, we try every item in this month's Keto Crate. We don't talk about it. We bees about it. We eats about it. You know what I'm talking about? 
So comment down below and you'll be entered to win and we'll draw that winner over on Smash the Crate. Okay, have a good day. Time to get smashing. I'll talk to you next month. Bye. That's not right. That's not right. What is it? No, okay. <laughs>